There's a convention in town, but this isn't just any convention. The locals are drawn to it, like bees to honey. We're talking tattoo conventions, and you can bet that when a tattoo convention comes to your town, chances are you'll be more than a little curious to see all that skin and all that ink all in one place. They're happening in Toronto, in Orlando, and in Oakland, California, just across the bay from San Francisco, where they've gathered for the Tattoo the Earth convention. Many think this California enclave is the one true center of great tattoo art. Oakland is not only a tattoo art hotbed, it's also one beautiful city. Rocky coastline, crashing waves, winding streets, funky neighborhoods. It all adds up to one cool place to hold a convention. And at the Oakland Alameda County Coliseum, the crowds are pouring in for the Tattoo the Earth convention. The buzzword here? Art fusion. It's the newest thing happening among tattoo artists today. And people are here to check it out or get in on the action. They're also here to meet Lyle Tuttle. Lyle just may be the best known figure in the world of tattoos today. Lyle helped move tattoos from the back rooms and parlors into the streets, tattooing such icons as Janis Joplin. People took note, and they're still taking note, from not only Lyle, but a whole panel of experts at this opening night symposium. Tattooing's got to be really a strong force because each of the six major religions of the world have a prohibition against it. <laughs> you know, at the Coliseum the next morning, the convention is rocking. A floor that normally sees its share of slam dunks and sky hooks is now the arena for another kind of artistry. At this convention, one different style of tattooing is Japanese. Actually thousands of years old, it's made its biggest impact in recent years. The Japanese philosophy calls for the art to fit the body's every contour. All over the world, people are getting Japanese-style ta tattoos. It's just one example of a level of tattooing that is legitimizing tattoos as real art. It's more and more common for uh, straight people to uh, stop, you know, us or clients of ours on the streets and say, wow, now that's art. Uh, that just it hadn't occurred to them that it could look like that. In some circles, tattoo art is gaining appreciation, but will it ever be viewed as highly as other art forms, such as painting and sculpture? Well, I don't think that the quote-unquote the legitimate art community will ever consider tattooing as a fine art because they can't figure out how to mat it and frame it. <laughs> Good point. Still, there is no doubt that it takes talent to be a tattoo artist. And more and more, artists are applying the training they've gotten in other mediums to creating art on skin. The new people uh, generally are, yeah, they're, they're coming from university art schools and they're applying their, their artistic abilities, you know, four years of education to the tattoo industry. And the work is incredible and all the old school guys are just sort of, holy, you know, we're in big trouble here. We don't keep an eye on these guys. <laughs> so. But it's all good. It's all good. All it's, good. All meant, it's all meant to go forward. It's all meant to go upwards and, and, and onwards. But is it art? A closer look at the techniques of tattooing reveal a variety of needles, liken them to the variety of brushes a painter might use. And colors as varied in hue and texture as any form of visual art. More talent and more people using their talents to tattoo only means that there are more images available to you. The image bank that is available in tattooing today is, is unlimited because there's been more of a movement to collaborate with the clients and have them bring their ideas to it and with more skillful artists and more capable artists uh, with the technical means to develop what the people want. It's completely unlimited now and the, the pigments available and the range of the sophistication of technique is so far advanced from what it was you know, 30 or 40 or, or even 20 years ago that uh, it's really exploded. But the depth and breadth of true art in the business today is really a recent phenomenon. Lyle Tuttle remembers a time when great tattoo artists were so few and far between that he could recognize their work individually at a glance. It was an ability that even caught the eye of law enforcement. In fact, I've identified cadavers for different police agencies through their tattoos because I could tell the style of the tattoo artist. But at this convention, there are more than just a few great tattoo artists. The actual artists that are at this show are just absolutely of the highest caliber. And uh, that's another big draw. 
Some artists believe that tattooing is more difficult than painting on canvas. There's definitely the technical challenges. It's not like uh, you know working on a canvas at all. Uh, but uh, you know, someone who's worked at it you know for for enough time uh, gets comfortable enough with it that it's just another medium. Uh, the real challenge is the fact that uh, it is another person, that it matters that much more because of that. You don't have the option of, of abandoning it midway through and just saying, eh, this isn't really going anywhere. Imagine how different a painter's art would be if his canvas moved, sweated, and stretched, or if he painted on a three-dimensional surface that feels pain. It's a three-dimensional body with two-dimensional artwork. Um, you just have to get the person relaxed in a position that uh, they'll, they'll normally be in because the skin has to be stretched to a certain degree when you're working. And if you're not working with some regiment, when you let loose of it, the person went in a natural position and the design is going to be out of proportion. And the bottom line of, it, of all artwork is proportion. As an artist who works on both canvas and skin, Ed Hardy agrees that the art of tattoo, in some ways, can be more demanding. The difference uh, from tattooing and, and, say, painting is that in tattooing, because you're, you're doing a physical thing with a cluster of very fine needles and, and forcing pigment into cells, that you can't get the sort of, you know, if you have a brush that's this wide and you're making a gesture on the canvas and there's the stroke, well, you can mimic that on skin, but you have to build it up very laboriously. It's like painting the Empire State Building with a toothbrush or something doing these giant tattoos. You know? Demanding? Yes. It also takes a special kind of person to create a tattoo. They can't have a bad day, like a, a writer or, or a fine painter to be able to perform in this environment, you know, under pressure, at a convention with everyone looking over your shoulder, watching you, scrutinizing you, uh, you know. Uh, so we're really geared for this. One event that both draws the crowds at this convention and allows the tattoo artists to stretch and show off their artistic abilities on canvas is called Art Fusion. Uh, it's uh, where you get six artists together and everybody rotates from each canvas every five minutes. So that way, basically, you have six artists working on six different canvases over the course of two hours. And it's really an amazing process to see how images sort of form and develop, how contrast is created, and how images start to flow within these pieces. It's new. Uh, we don't know what its place is yet. Uh, it, it's very experimental at this stage, and we're at a point where we're finding teams of people that work well together and get very effective uh, results when they go on stage. Finally, what every artist really seeks is validation. And like other conventions, the Tattoo the Earth convention is awarding prizes for this show's best art. Categories include best black and gray tattoo, best full color tattoo, most unusual, best lettering, best tribal, best portrait, best overall, and so forth. And also like other conventions, no one seems shy about showing off their entries. In one of the show's more raucous events, two artists team up to tattoo one person. Called the Collaborative Tattoo Showcase, this is a timed event that pits one team against another. When the clock keeper says, time's up, what you see is what you get. It's easy to see how some people might call this artwork legit, even though it's not done on canvas. The owner of that art can't sell it. Uh, it's with him uh, for the rest of his life. I just think it's a, a fantastic medium that's capable of a great range of expression, certainly capable of as much range of expression in its own way as any other, you know, painting or sculpture or anything else. You know, a lot of people think of tattooing that it's not actually art, you know. And the thing is, is that it's probably the ultimate form of art because it's living and it's forever, you know. And, and uh, you know, it's kind of educating people is the really important thing, you know. It's not drunken sailors and bikers and, you know, uh, criminals. It's an art form that just can't be denied anymore.